As you can see, this top one is running at a massive $17,000 profit. I'm gonna show you a secret sauce that absolutely exploded my CPA affiliate marketing profits. And you do not wanna miss this. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name's Liam James K and I'm a super affiliate. I've been affiliate marketing probably about five years now and I've made millions of dollars in commissions. I'm ClickBank Platinum two years in a row. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you a secret sauce that is absolutely gonna blow your mind. It's almost like a hack that means you're never gonna to have to worry about the cost of your clicks ever again, and you can make some insane profits, which I'm gonna show you proof of in just a moment. But before we do that, I'm gonna be giving away two copies of my $5,000 native ads training program in this video, so make sure you keep an eye out to find out how you can win a copy of that. So let's get started. First up, if you don't know what CPA marketing is, it's just another form of affiliate marketing. It's stands for cost per action. And the way that it works, companies will usually pay you out a small commission for usually generating them leads. So for example, you would sign up to a CPA network that's got lots of offers on there. You can grab a unique referral link or affiliate link to one of those offers. When you share that, if someone clicked on that link and then they signed up, entered an email address on a website or something like that, that company might pay you out $1 or $2 for generating them a lead. But there's lots of different variations to CPA marketing. It's not just people entering email addresses. Sometimes companies might want you to get customers to enter credit card details or sign up for free trials, or sometimes even purchase products or make deposits. And the commissions you can earn from them vary greatly depending on the type of offer. So now I just wanna jump on the computer to show you some results from an offer that I've been promoting. So this is a CPA network that I've been running some campaigns on. And as you can see, this top campaign, the amount I've generated so far is $53,934 in commissions. I'm just gonna refresh this here so you can see it's all legit. It's not a screenshot. When it loads, $53,000 there. And I'm actually gonna show you profit margins in just a moment, but I really wanna focus on this. This is the EPC. And if you don't know, EPC stands for earnings per click. And earnings per click is, is kind of an average amount of money that I earn for every click that I send to the offer. So the way they work that out is by getting the amount of commissions that I've received divided by how many clicks I've sent to that offer and it gives us an average earnings per click. Now this is a really important metric if you're doing any kind of paid traffic because if your cost per click is lower than your earnings per click, then you're always gonna be in profit. And at $5 earnings per click is very, very good and that's very high, especially for a CPA offer. If anyone's tried doing CPA marketing, they will know that it's very difficult to get an earnings per click of over $5. And I'm gonna share some secrets with you in a minute. But what that means for me is that no traffic source is really too expensive. I can run tier one, the best native ad campaigns on the best websites. I can be outbidding the most of my competition and I'm still gonna be in profit because my earnings per click is so high. And that means I can even pay up to like $4 per click and I will be in profit. So that's a very, very important metric, and I'm gonna share some secrets with you how to increase this earnings per click, but I just wanna show you the profit margins for this, and then we'll delve into it a little bit more. So just quickly, this is my tracking software um, where I track all of my conversions and sales for CPA and affiliate marketing. And as you can see, this top campaign here is responsible for $46,000 of that revenue. And as you can see, a profit of over $17,000 and an ROI of 61% ROI. And if we look down here, you can see the EPC here um, for this specific campaign is $4.28. Some of them have even got like a $9 EPC as well down here. But really importantly, if we look at the end column, estimated cost per click is $2.64. It's costing me $2.64 to get a click to this offer. And that is quite expensive, but my earnings per click is so high, that means I'm still earning a massive profit of 61% ROI. So the question is, how do you get a really high EPC when you're doing CPA marketing? Well, it's actually quite simple when you think about it. The EPC relates to one of two things. It's either the conversion rate of the offer and how well it's converting, or it's related to the payout of the offer, how much you actually earn in commissions from that offer. They both have a massive impact on the earnings per click that you can earn from an offer. Now, I just wanna show you something on a CPA network now that just explains this a little bit more, but also I'll show you how you can get really high EPCs. So this is Max Bounty, which is a CPA network. And I'm just showing you this one because these have 
public facing earnings per clicks for all of their offers so we can actually see quite visually um, how much each offer generates based on their earnings per click. So if we just come here and if we select sort by CPA rate, and I'll just do that again. So the CPA rate, some of these really high ticket offers here. And if you look at the earnings per click, I'll just zoom in on this. If you look on the earnings per click, they've got very high earnings per click. There's some correlation between the earnings per click and the CPA rate. Look, $2, $2.80, $2.40, all goes down. And there's lots of different types of offers. Um, and I'll show you the different types of offers in just a moment. But if we change the CPA rate, to the lowest CPA rate. So a lot of these lower ticket CPA offers that a lot of people try to do and I spent a lot of time doing this and really trying to optimize campaigns and I made quite a lot of money um, promoting these low ticket offers. Um, but if you look at the EPCs of these offers, they're very, very low, like 10 cents earnings per click. Even if you get up to the offers where they're paying out like a dollar or 85 cents, you get 25, 26 cents earnings per click. So in this current climate and the current costs of advertising rising, it's going to be very, very difficult to make these lower ticket offers profitable. To make them profitable, you even need super, super cheap traffic and you also need it to be high converting, which is actually quite hard to come by. But not only that, even if you do find that traffic, you're going to be competing with the people that are getting this $2 or $3 EPC because they're all using the same traffic at the end of the day. So if you really want to crush the competition, you, you don't really want to be focused on these really low ticket offers because it's going to be so difficult to actually make them profitable and a slight decrease in your click through rate or something like that can knock off your profits. Whereas these much higher ticket offers, they will give you much higher EPCs. Now, before you run off and just pick the biggest commission out there and start trying to run traffic to it, there's a few things that you really need to consider so you don't waste a lot of money because it's very easy to lose money when you're promoting high ticket products. So one of the main downsides to, to promoting like a high ticket product is that it usually costs a lot of money to test. So if you're, say, for instance, running native ads, which I do a lot of, and you, you basically put in adverts on news websites, if you've got an offer that pays out a $1,000 commission, in theory, you need to spend at least one times payout per placement before you turn it off. So for example, if you're promoting this offer on, say, CNN, um, news website and you're not going to want to turn that off that advert off until it's spent at least a thousand dollars because if it spends twenty dollars and doesn't get a commission well it might get a commission after it spends thirty dollars or even if it, you spend five hundred dollars on cnn and you only get one commission you're still going to be in five hundred dollars profit so what i'm trying to say is that usually you need to spend one times payout before you know whether it's going to convert or not which means you're going to be spending a thousand dollars per site. So traditionally, it will be really expensive to test an offer that is $1,000 or $500. But I've got a really good trick on how you can actually run these high ticket offers, get high EPCs, and you don't need to have a massive, massive budget to do testing and things like that. So make sure you keep watching and I've got some other tips as well. Now, I just want to go back to the offer that I was showing you at the start of this video to kind of show you how this works. So this is the offer and I've generated $53,000 in commissions from this. And the 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 conversion that I'm being paid for is this here where I've actually had 103 conversions of people actually signing up and using a platform. And if you actually work out, that's an average conversion of around about $500 that I'm being paid out. Now they changed the rate halfway through because I was, I was bringing a lot of traffic, but it's on average around about $500 um, per conversion, which is really quite high ticket. And that can be expensive to test. But if you actually look here in this column, I'm actually tracking the email submits. So the people that actually submit their email at the start of the funnel. Now I'm not being paid out any commissions for people entering their emails like traditional low ticket CPA marketing, but I'm tracking how many people are actually doing it, which means that I can actually optimize my funnel based on email submits rather than the actual conversions at the end of the funnel. So if you actually look here, 2,494 people have entered their email. And if you actually work that out, um, based on how much I've received in commissions. That means on average, I'm earning around about $20 every time someone enters their email. Now I won't be paid that, but that's the average based on the conversion rate later down in the funnel. So what I can do is I can build a campaign and test based on 
whether someone enters an email or not. So if I'm running a campaign on CNN News for this offer, I haven't got to wait till I've spent $500 and see whether it converts. I can wait until I've spent $20. And if I don't have someone entering their email by the time I've spent $20, I might want to turn that off because I know it's not going to be profitable or it's going to be hard to make it profitable. So if you want to promote these higher ticket products, these higher ticket CPA offers, but you don't want to spend a lot of money testing, all you have to do is just change where you're actually optimizing your campaign and the stats that you're looking at. So optimize for people entering emails at the start of the funnel rather than the actual conversions. Now, obviously, I know because I've run traffic and got commissions from this, how much I'm earning on average for every email submit. If you're just starting a fresh campaign and you don't have that data, you can just go back to the CPA network or the affiliate network and ask them what their conversion rates are, how many people enter their email versus how many people actually sign up. And you can just reverse engineer it and work out how much you really should be spending for every email submit. So it's, it's almost like we're just doing standard CPA marketing where we're getting paid for email submits but we're actually not, we're getting paid for the bigger commissions at the end. And a really interesting thing is, if I was running this offer and I was just getting paid out email submits of say $2, I would have only earned $5,000 for those email submits. So that just goes to show you the difference between promoting a high ticket product where I've earned $50,000 rather than just generating leads and getting paid $2 here, $2 here, $2 here. So it really is a really profitable way of doing CPA marketing that really, really does work. So now I'm actually gonna show you where you can find these high payout offers. Um, it's not just on the affiliate networks like this where you can find them like Max Bounce. I'll show you different ways of finding them and I've got some other tips as well. But you really need to think of the type of offers that are gonna be paying out these high CPAs. They are obviously companies that are making a lot of money. So you kind of got to follow the money. So you've got to think like finance offers. So casino offers usually have massive payouts. Um, loan offers, also crypto. So crypto exchanges usually have big payouts where they'll pay you massive commissions, Forex, other kind of trading and different kind of finance offers. But also some other networks and some other types of offers still do pay out massive um, CPAs as well. So you've kind of got to just have a look around. A really good website to start with is called Offer Vault, which I've spoken about in the past on this channel. It's kind of a website that kind of collects all of the current offers or a lot of the current offers that are on different affiliate networks out there and CPA networks. But there's a good setting on here which you can just turn on, which um, allows you to organize via payout size. So if you really want to go for these really high ticket offers with a high EPCs, you can organize by payout. And you can see this top offer, a Bitcoin offer, currently pays out $1,500 commissions for getting someone to sign up and make a deposit. Now, you've got to be careful. Some of these offers might not be regulated. So just check out that they are legit and stuff before you start promoting them. But there's obviously lots of different offers paying out over $1,000. That's a really good starting point. Next, you can obviously just head over to Google um, and check out like blog posts. So if you type high ticket CPA offers, a lot of people have just like listed some of these high ticket CPA offers, which is a really good way of finding them. Look here, I checked out some of these earlier and there's some really good blog posts that show you products that you might not find elsewhere, which you can check out. Another really good way is just think of companies in the niches that we just spoke about, like finance offers or trading offers and just check and see if they've got an affiliate network. So for example, I was looking at this before, Trading212, which is a, um, a trading platform based in the UK. I think they might be based in America as well, but they, they're definitely big over in the UK. They're like regulated, really high quality one. Um, you just type in Trading212 CPA or affiliate and you can click on them and sign up to their affiliate program. And everyone that you refer to their platform, they're gonna pay you up to $1,000 in commission. Let's just have a little look down here. If someone deposits $100 to $400, you're gonna get $300 commission, which is still quite a nice chunk of money. It's still high ticket and you could make a lot of money from that. But if they actually deposit $1,000 or more, you can earn a $1,000 commission just off one single um, referral that you send to them. So those are the different ways that you can find products. So just have a little dig around and you'll find some really good CPA offers out there that you can promote. Now, a really important thing to note is that if you want to try out this type of CPA marketing, you will need some kind of tracking software to track where these email submits are actually coming from and so you can turn things off and, and keep things going. So you need to use some kind of tracking software. The one that I use is Volume, which is a really good one and it's, it's basically built specific, specifically for affiliate marketing and CPA marketing. I do have a referral link in the description which will give you a massive 30% off if you want to check that out. 
But yeah, this, this, this CPA marketed works on lots of different types of traffic sources. So it obviously works on high quality traffic. So native ads is obviously a really good traffic source for this. If you can get the offers approved, depending on the type of offers, you can even run it on like Google, you can run it on uh, Facebook if they allow some of these offers. Some really expensive traffic sources out there you can still make profitable with this strategy. But something which is really interesting is it actually works quite well with low, low, low quality, but low price traffic, such as like push notifications and, and even sometimes like banner ads and pop, pop ads and stuff like that because you are getting paid such a massive commission. So people think that you'd never be able to convert high ticket offers with, with really low ticket, low quality traffic, but you actually can because yes, 99% of the clicks that you send might not convert, but even if you got one of those to convert, because the commission is so high, it can actually pay for all of those cheap clicks and actually give you some profit. So it's definitely worth checking out, trying those expensive, higher quality traffic sources, but you can also test it out on some of the lower quality traffic sources um, out there as well. I actually do have a video, which you can check out, I'll link it around here, all about low priced, cheap traffic sources that are all affiliate friendly. So make sure you check that out. But that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it valuable. And I've been testing out a few different types of videos and strategies recently, um, but a lot of people have been asking for like affiliate marketing and CPA marketing content. So if you did like this content, please smash the like button because it really helps me out. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments box below. And also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Now, I'm going to announce a little competition, which I talked about earlier. I'm going to give away two copies of my $5,000 native ads training program. It's really, really high level stuff which can teach you how to crush it with native ads. Now to win a copy of that, all you need to do is go back through this video. I'm gonna hide somewhere in this video an emoji. I'm gonna hide the ghost emoji. It's a little ghost and you just need to find it. Then you need to make sure you've smashed the like button. You need to make sure you commented below, just anything, just comment what you thought of the video. And then you need to submit in the comments box below, in the description box below, I'm gonna leave a link and where you could submit your entry. And you need to tell me the time in the video, whereabouts in the video, the time code, where you saw that emoji, leave your email, and then I'm gonna choose two people at random. I will film on my story on Instagram or on YouTube or both and I will reveal um, who's gonna win a copy of that. So yeah, it's very, very valuable. So go and have a little look for that emoji now. It's somewhere, the ghost emoji is hidden somewhere in this video. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Until next time, cheers guys.